Hey, hey, y'all. So it's me, Tessa from Gemini's Corner, your favorite tarot reader. Coming to give you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. And let's get into this. So let's see here. So something's coming to an end here. What's this coffin? <clears throat> this coffin. Mature man. Privileged lady. Give me a little more on this. I feel like there's a relationship coming to an end where the, the, the feminine energy in the relationship may have been taken care of financially. Yeah, this is somebody's marriage. 3-3 three, three or 3-3-3 three, three, three may be here. Okay. Um. What else? Give me one more. <clears throat> This person, this, the, the male energy may have been, um, I mean, the masculine energy may have been older than the feminine energy imprisonment. This may be something that this person felt like they were trapped in. Okay. This masculine energy may have felt trapped in this relationship, but I feel like this is a relationship that's ending that the feminine energy, um, was taken care of monetarily, financially. Okay. If this is your person, there's some kind of marriage or something coming to an end here. Your person may have felt like, like I say, your person may have felt trapped in this relationship. Okay. Um, I feel like there will be a money exchange, a shift of with this sudden wealth at the bottom. There will be a money exchange. Yeah. Change somebody's lifestyle. <laughs> wow. Poverty behind that. So somebody's lifestyle is getting ready to change. Okay. Whoever, um, whoever was the person that had the money in this relationship, there's about to be a change in their finances. So you know you want to get out even if you don't care. Yeah, free yourself. Wow, free yourself. Finances and career. Some of you guys may be freeing yourself from a job that doesn't pay you enough. Or you're looking to make more money. <clears throat> New love came out in reverse. I feel like you may not be. So I feel like. Mm, reconciliation behind that. And calling in your soulmate. So I feel like you're focused on a few things here. I feel like you're in a job position where enough enough money is not being made okay and it's just saying to free yourself from that there also may have been someone new come in that's trying to date you or trying to offer you love but i feel like there's a reconciliation that's going to happen here um and with calling your soulmate that's you I, that to me that's you manifesting this person in and whether it be affirmation visualization scripting you just focusing on this person um but you're calling this person in for reconciliation. My assumption is that it's the person that is um, in those first set of cards. So for some of you guys, there's a third party. The third party was a husband or a wife. Okay, there was a marriage here. That's the second time finances and career kind of has come up. So I feel like if you stay in this current energy, seven of pentacles, justice, three of wands. If you stay in this current energy, then you will experience those financial burdens. And even if you're thinking about it from your person's perspective and saying, hey, you know, 
once this person leaves this relationship, they're going to experience financial setbacks. You should be assuming that this person will thrive financially. Okay. Cause it's all about what you assume. It's all about what you assume in everything. Okay. Um, so yeah, even here, this is showing me like if I was just a novice, right? I'm looking at this and you see that this person is looking at something that they've invested in. Okay. They've invested this much, but behind them, they've only gotten this much out of it. So this is telling me that this is dealing with a person who has invested a lot in something and the return on their investment has been small. Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Okay. In order for things to be made fair and balanced and right, this person is to me manifesting. This is what this three of wands is, is looking to bring in something else. They, they're making a change. Their hand is on, a, on this particular stick here. Um, and they've turned their back on this one. So this person is, has made a change. They're manifesting a change and they're waiting to see that change show up. Three of wands, Aries energy, whoever this three, of, uh, I'm sorry, whoever this king of cups is Libra Pisces It's Pisces energy, but I also read that as Libra or just any water sign. So this king of cups is the person that is cause right behind that walking away. Okay. Okay. And they may be walking away with very little with this page of pentacles. So once again, somebody here is, is heavily assuming that this person is going to experience some financial issues. Okay. You need to change that assumption about this person or they will come towards you with financial issues because that's your assumption. Okay. But again, there's an ending here, Scorpio energy to something that I feel like they've been in for a very long time. Six of cups could have been childhood, um, a childhood relationship that went into an adult one, but I feel like there's an ending to something that was around for a while. Okay. Scorpio energy, six of cups, more Scorpio energy. Okay. What else? So even though they've put in seven of pentacles, they're only coming out page of pentacles. Okay. In this current energy, energy can be changed though with the change of your thoughts about, about any situation. <clears throat> yeah. This person wants it is, is I, I, I feel like this is somebody who knows how to make something out of nothing. Okay. So if this person could get it one time, this is somebody who, and this is the thing about manifestation that I try to tell y'all. Once y'all manifest the one thing of importance, I remember the first thing that I manifested for myself was a specific position that I wanted. Okay. And once I did that, I then knew exactly what to do from that point on to manifest, uh, anything after that. It's, Kind of like, and, and I based that on what I was told when I was more in church and the pastor told us, once you get a prayer through, once you get a prayer answer, you then know exactly the steps to take in order to get the next one answered. Cause there is no, now what messed me up with the church stuff is because they'll tell you, God say sometimes yes, no, maybe all that crap. No, none of that is true. You can have a hundred percent of what you want, period. Okay. It's just about, are you willing to do the work to get it? Some people for some things, it's going to take more work than others, not because it's bigger or not because it's more important, but because you have a resistance to it that is different than you may have a resistance to something else. So what I mean by that, that's why I tell you guys to manifest smaller things that don't really matter to you. So you can see it show up and then you know it's possible, but with things like if you're manifesting this person, you're going to look at the 3d and say, you know what? This person has kids with this person. They're married. Um, you know, they have finances tied together. You're going to, you're going to place all these obstacles in a way as to why it's going to be hard. So then when you start manifesting, you'll see those roadblocks because you already assume that those are, are things that's going to stop your manifestation. You just have to persi persist through those things. Okay. No matter what you, you stay on course with what you're saying, visualizing, scripting. But I feel like this is somebody who 
knows how to make something out of nothing. If this person had money when they got with this person, then that means they know how to get money. Okay. So even though they may be down for a minute, <clears throat> I don't think they'll stay down. I just don't feel like they'll stay down. Once people who are millionaires, once they've made a million dollars, they know how to go and get a million dollars again and even quicker. Okay. Because they understand the steps. <clears throat> Queen of Cups. I feel like this person's going to need your emotional support. Okay. I also feel like this person um, may be leaving a situation because there wasn't enough emotional support. Okay. From this other person. But I also feel like with this King, Queen of Cups and this Nine of Wands, I mean, in this Ace of Wands, there's a lot of passion in this. Because to me, emotion plus fiery creativity equals passion, in my opinion. Okay. But you guys are a pair. King and Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, Gemini, Cancer, Energy. Or just any water sign. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all are going to experience happiness. Okay. <clears throat> Y'all are going to experience happiness, but I will say this because I feel like there's a focus on the monetary. Either it's you. Well, and this is the thing. It is you. Cause I, I keep telling y'all that you're the only thinker in your reality and everybody else is you pushed out. They're going to show up the way that you assume the way that you think they will. So it's because you're thinking about this person and the loss that they will take monetarily when they divorce from this person okay it's because you're thinking about that so now because you're thinking about that that person is picking up on your thoughts because we're all connected okay this person is picking up on your thoughts and so now they're dwelling on it but I just feel like even if this person I feel like this person's thoughts is even if I walk away with very little I know how to make it into something okay I know how to make it into something but you need to change your thoughts when it comes to the finances of this person okay I just feel like you're thinking about that. Yeah. I knew it was a passionate situation. Lover's energy, Gemini energy. I feel like there's a lot of passion between you guys. I get it with this King and Queen of Cups. I get that there's probably a lot of PDA, a lot of um, one, one or both because y'all are both showing up as emotional here. Emotionally balanced, but still showing up as emotional. So there may be a lot of... Um, like I said, PDA, physical intimacy, but also you guys' love language could be physical touch, either one or the both of you. And one more. Yep. This is going to go good. <laughs> this is actually... And to me, Wheel of Fortune is the same as, as, as the affirmation that I always give y'all. Everything always works out in my favor. Everything always goes my way. I always get what I want. All those are encompassed in this. Things are definitely going to work out. Things are going to go your way. Things are going to be good. Okay? So, Jim and I, I hope this reading is helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Oh, and we'll be back to the overhead. I just haven't set it up. It's a whole setup. <laughs> I haven't set it up since I've been back from Vegas. So we will be back to the overhead and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.